Well, jury selection continues today in the Karen Reed high profile murder trial. Her case, of course, getting a lot of attention. Her attorneys and supporters claim she is the victim of a cover up. Kristen Burnell live outside of the courthouse right now in Dedham, Massachusetts with the very latest. Well, good morning, Kate and Patrick. Karen Reed is accused of killing her boyfriend, John O'Keefe. The former Boston police officer was found dead outside of a Canton home back in January 2022 during a snowstorm. Now, 12 News was there as Reed walked out of the courthouse yesterday, where she appeared in good spirits after four jurors were seated for the case out of the 16 needed. Prosecutors say that Reed hit O'Keefe with her car and left him in the snow, but her attorneys claim she is being framed as part of a cover up, saying O'Keefe was attacked inside the home. Yesterday, the judge gave a full list of possible witnesses, including dozens of police officers, firefighters, doctors, and Canton residents. All of those details have caught the attention of people in the Bay State and across the country. Outside the courthouse, dozens of demonstrators gathered in full force, expressing their support for Reed. Those people remained 200 feet away due to the judge's buffer zone order, so they don't influence jurors in any way. I'm out here to support uh, Karen Reed. Yeah. And uh, we want justice for John O'Keefe. And people are generally concerned that there is some sort of a cover up. Now, once a full jury is selected, the trial is expected to last four to six weeks. We'll be continue to bring you the very latest, both inside and outside the courtroom, right here on 12 News. For now, reporting live in Dedham this morning, Kristen Bruneau, 12 News. Well, jury selection continues this morning in a high profile murder case out of Massachusetts. Karen Reed of Mansfield accused of killing her boyfriend John O'Keefe in January of 2022. This case has gained so much attention. The judge ordered an, an actual buffer zone around the courthouse as this trial gets underway. Kristen Burnell is live outside the courthouse in Dedham. Kristen, any activity yet this morning or still kind of quiet? Yeah, that's right, Kate and Patrick. Still kind of quiet right here. Not too many people just yet. We're actually just outside the courthouse where that jury selection will begin for a second day. We're in that buffer zone where a couple of dozens of people gathered here yesterday to express their support. Now, 12 News was also here yesterday when Reed walked out of the of the courtroom on the first day of jury selection where four jurors were selected from a pool of 88 people. A new pool will convene today as the process continues. Reed is accused of hitting her Boston police officer boyfriend with her car in January 2022. The defense is arguing she is the victim of a cover up scheme inside the courtroom yesterday. Both the prosecution and the defense identified at least 70 witnesses to call up while outside the courtroom. Dozens of demonstrators stayed 200 feet away from the building due to the judge's order. Most of them expressing their support for Reed, but also calling for justice for O'Keefe. And I'm here to support Cameron. There is way more to stay. We'll all be out in a couple of weeks. Now, once the full jury is seated, the trial is expected to last four to six weeks. Reporting live in Dedham this morning, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.